I'm here with my loose baby. I'm working on teaching him his name and teaching him to sit. Um, this is his kibbles. So um, I'm just using that. I've already worked on it a little bit. I'm looking for some eye contact and teaching the words that, and also to fade out the jumping because he's actually, I think he must have been copying to you and was, um, he's been jumping quite a bit. So we're gonna get rid of that because that's not good for a big boy. <laughs> this is what we're working on. So I'm just gonna put the food over here out of the way so he focuses on me. Zeus, come. Good boy. Good job, sit. Yeah. So I wanted to look at me, not the food. I've got the food in my hands here. Please see some more jump. Yes. brain break I want him to go get distracted so I can practice calling his name So I'm feeding him close into my body, and I'm praising him as well, making sure he comes all the way to me. I've also been practicing this, and I sit. I've also been practicing um, touching his collar and moving him by his collar, so putting pressure on the collar and then encouraging him to move with it. So you don't get a dog that pulls backwards when they feel pressure on the collar. It's uh, beginning of the leash training, and also if you need to move them by their collar. So he's resisting, that's fine. I'm just holding the pressure on. I'm just gonna encourage him to come forward after he lets a little bit of his own back pressure go. I noticed he was dodging when I went to grab him. Yay! Dodging when I went to pick him up or he was pulling back. So I would go like this and he was stepping away just like he is right there. Good boy. Good job. So I've just been um, praising him when I touch him like that, so he doesn't uh, pull back. Good boy. So I can hold him underneath like this and he won't try to get away. Oh boy. and he gets a little bouncy there. Ah, that's a good boy. Mm -hmm. Good boy. So those front paws coming off the ground, I definitely don't want. So before I call him, I'm ready with some kibbles. Zeus, come. And if he jumps up like that, I just stand up away from him. And when he gets down, I go down and feed him. He does pretty good until he gets excited, right? Good boy! Good job! Good boy! Woo! Good boy! Good boy! Yeah! Good boy! Good job! That's a good boy! Good. That's good. So instead of jumping, he sits, and that's what we've been working on. 
keep those front paws on the ground. We definitely don't want a big Doberman boy jumping on people, so. This is how he's eating his meals. I can recommend continuing at home. Good boy. Working on all the stuff that we're working on here when you feed him. Yes, good boy. Just starting a little stay. hungry hungry so he'll work for it. Yes. Good boy. Good job. Good boy. And so far his social skills are great. He's um, responding really well. If he uh, gets growled at or told to back off by one of the other dogs he just backs away. Um, seems really confident I've been making some loud sounds and he seems good nothing's kind of nothing's freaking him out um, curious and it's a really nice temperament really solid dog so far so um, yeah I think he's gonna be great he's super motivated and easy to train and he's a great little puppy here too you're such a smart little boy such a smart little boy yes you are yes you are so those front, if that front paw comes off the ground, I'm just going to step away. Good boy. Good job. Good. Because we want those two front paws to stay on the ground. So he gets a little jumpy. I just stand up. He walks away. That's fine. nice. Chooses to sit there instead of jumping, so I'll reward that with his kibble. So, so far that's what we're working on. Uh, learning his name, sitting, staying, and, um, and then moving when he feels pressure on his collar. So moving with it instead of pulling away. And then, um, not pulling away when I go to pick him up. So I'm just going to put my hands underneath him as if I'm going to pick him up and then I'll just praise him in that position. So he's not bracing to be lifted, he's just uh, being held here. Oh boy. And we're also going to work on going down some stairs because <laughs> I have a few stairs here. So I'd like him to be able to go out on his own so he can pee without me having to carry him. <laughs> 